Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today we are playing Star Maid, and today I'd like to talk about shields. Yes, shields. And I'm on a little starship instead of my space station, uh, so we can see power consumption a little easier. Um, shields. Alright, some basics about shields. This is a shield capacitator. It changes the the total amount of shields on the ship. Notice uh, I have zero out of 220 shields. It, for base every ship, I think, in station, gets 220 base shields. Uh, you don't get anything because you don't have, they aren't being charged. Uh, but you have 220 base. You put down a shield capacitator, and notice I went from 220 to 775. Uh, that is not right. That's armor hit points. I went from 220 to 330. From 330 to 436. 524. And shield capacitators, and they don't get placement bonuses like the reactors. Uh, if you can put them in a group, you don't get any sort of bonus. So you don't get a bonus for doing that instead of that. Or anything. So it doesn't care as long as they're attached to the same object you don't get any sort of bonus. The same with rechargers. As the, the shield capacitators, they up the total number of shields you have. Uh, like those six, nine. Those nine, I have 1,165 shields. The shield recharger, on the other hand, actually charges it. Notice that it's going up. I have 80, 96, 112, yeah, and so on and so forth. It doesn't cost any power to have shields. Notice uh, over in the right, power 39.3%. It's not rising, it's not falling. It does, however, cost power to recharge shields. See? And I'm dropping. Alright, so. Since it takes power to charge shields, let's... I think to keep them charged as well. As long as you have a recharger, I if I'm not mistaken, I read somewhere that the formula for power consumption is is uh, ten times as much power consumed recharging than it is keeping steady for the rechargers. But I've read conflicting things. Anyway, we're going to actually try it out. And we're going to try out with a 3x3x3 power block. So I, I saved it as a template, and I just pasted it in. Uh, so you notice our power is going all the way up to the, what, 50,000 it gets initially? Because I don't want to build a ship and build all these different, I guess, modules. And then uh, put them together and say, uh-oh, we don't have enough power for this. So I'd like to design, a, I guess, a base shield system for each of the um, sets of reactors I'm going to end up using, or base reactors. So this 3x3x3 three by three by three I think is going to be a, a for very, very light ships. And I'm going to use this as a starting point. And let's see. Shields. I have... Okay, I have no shields. Nothing. Put down a shield recharger, a single shield recharger. It should be building up. It doesn't look like it's consuming... Yeah, there we go. It's consuming 50. 50 a second. At the top right, under the 100%, the, the in brackets, negative 50. That's power consumption. So if I put 2, give it a second, 110. So that's 60 it added. Give it a second. 160. So three of them are 160. Now that I'm full, it should drop down to 16. Okay, so that, that I did read that right. So it's ten times as much power consumption when charging than when shields are full. So let's throw a capacitator on there. It should jump to 160, because I upped the number of max shields and now it's recharging. And once it hits maximum, it'll drop down to 16. Alright! Oh, uh, see warning, shields down, 10 second recovery. Uh, when you lose your shields totally, it takes 10 seconds for shields to recharge again. Okay. So it's holding at 16. Okay. Uh, I don't want a very large... 
uh, shield thing because again we are this is for light ships shuttles and probably drones things like that this would be a huge drone though anywho and I'm still not totally sold on drones with the, the current setup uh, I've been having a hard time doing carrier recall but that's for another day uh, and also light ships I don't think are gonna need the whole bunch of uh, shields so what's a 9 by 9 what's that gonna cost me shields uh, let's throw a capacitor on there so it forces the oh those, those are capacitators I wanted to try the power consumption for nine of those nine of those 490 okay and a three by three by three is what doing almost 3,000 so let's see power cons oh okay right there shields power consumption 49 ah so we could use that power consumption 66 99 okay uh, see power consumption 99 so that means when I add a capacitor capacitator it should jump to 990 okay and the shield recharge is 99 per second so I should be able to throw these on and very good I'm getting 99 shields per second and it's costing me 990 energy per second hmm and Shield total is 1600. That's a 3x3x3 three by three by three for shields. Uh, now I'm going to get a shield warning because I've lost everything. What if we did 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, something like that that. Uh, it's going to cost... I get 1700 shields and it's going to cost 66 energy per second to maintain uh, up to 660 to charge. That's strange. Power consumption isn't... okay. Hmm. Two, three, two, three, two, three. What happens if we do it the other way around? And warning, your shields are down. Three, two, three, two, three. Three. All right, that's, I lose 300 shields, but they're gonna charge faster. Yeah, they're recharging it at 82. The other was at 60 something. And I have a little more power consumption, so it's 82. It's going to be eight, 820 altogether. Hmm. For a light craft, a shuttle, something like that, a thousand shields. I don't think is going to be bad because I don't. This again, not a combat vessel, so I don't need the the shields of say the ironclad or a or a capital ship or anything of that nature, or even of the uh, the hornet there. All right, hornet. Oh, the hornet only has six grand. Oh, um, I did mark two of the hornet. Just as a side note, I took the wings off because after looking at them, I think, wow, that looks silly. And it only added a little to thrust, so not a big change there. Uh, where am I? There we go. So, just as a side note, I took the wings off, I called it Hornet Mark II. Just a few less thrusters in the wings. Okay, so that has 6,000 shields. This one, this block here, is 1,000. Hmm. Well, 1,400. So do I want faster recharge or more shields altogether? That's the question for a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. 
Do I want more shields altogether, or do I want faster recharge? I think... Oh... There we go. My rotate key got changed again. I think for the 3x3... Three by 3... By three where are you? There you go. I think having more shields are more important than recharge rate. Z will give me 17. What did the other give me? 14. Though my reason is it's not a combat vessel, so I don't think quick recharge is really a, a um, priority for a, a smaller ship. Like a, a shuttle or something of that nature. And a drone, I don't even think I'd put shields on a drone other than maybe a single recharge or something like that. Because in my mind, drones are basically cannon fodder. Um, but a slower recharge, because it shouldn't be seeing combat. And it should be able to have the maneuverability to get out of combat in case it gets there. So I'm thinking this setup with the more capacitators than the... Reactors. And it can easily, easily be handled by this 3x3x3 power and still give us enough room to add all types of thrusters. So I think I like that. In this basic pattern, I could. 3x3x3. Uh, copy it. And because they don't care about grouping, I can just copy and paste as much as I want and use this as sort of a building block. Uh, even that, I'm only consuming 3,000, so that's about half. So yeah, even this 3x3x3 three by three by three reactor could take care of this huge block of shields. Hmm. And that's 9,000 shields. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Hmm. Hmm. What if I had a... a reactor uh, when setting up ships and whatnot, instead of having a... what I usually do is I just build one big reactor and come back in later and stuff capacitors in where I can. Why don't I build several, several reactors? Uh, not necessarily on the shuttle, but larger ships, like a capital ship or corvette or something like that, or frigate. Um, having a reactor specifically designed for handling the shields. That way I can scale up as much as I need, and I won't have to worry about taking power from something else, and when it's not using, it'll feed back into the main ship as well. But that way I guarantee I would have power for shielding. That's a design philosophy I hadn't thought about before. You might be thinking, well, that, of course, that's what you do anyway. But no, I don't know. Not what I do anyway. Okay. Well, that's a good-sized chunk of shields. Not a real quick recharge rate, but it is a lot of them. Now, for a war vessel, I probably want larger recharge than, than shields, especially one that's going to take sustained damage. So, hmm... 3x3x3, three by three by three, that's what, 27 blocks? So there's not a good way to split them even. Okay. Okay. Actually, this little... Uh... Okay, no, I can't handle... Alright, the 3x3 three three can't handle the that much power. Or this many ships, or ships, shield blocks, but I was just placing them down while I was talking. Alright, I've been JW608. This has been Star Made. We've been just playing around with the shields today. Although I do like this 3x3x3 three by three by three block, so I'm gonna save that as, I guess, as a building block. Alright, I'm gonna do that off screen. Actually, I could have done that right there. I had it copied. Anyway, I've been GW608. This has been Star Made. We're just tinkering with the uh, modular building, I guess you could call it. I'll take you cats later.